Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. You know what they say about reckoning? I don't, but I reckon it's a lot like assuming. Yeah, something like that. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. I followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You've got an opinion then? Wouldn't say that. I go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing, even considering who they say you killed. Any of that seem important to you? All of it, but that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You wanna know how I see it? I got much choice? Sure don't. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. <sighs> Ryan in progress. All officers are available for you. You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Officers are available for incoming to one then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Maybe he was innocent. Innocent? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. This other time... <laughs> Officer, are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here. Officer? Oh, that doesn't look good. 
He wasn't ejected from the car. He's not moving. He must have the handcuff keys on him. He must have the handcuff keys on him. He must have the handcuff keys on him. I need to drag myself out that window. Damn it. The officer's shotgun is over there. Looks empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Officer? God damn. Officer? Officer? Uh, 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 holy shit! What in the hell? What the fuck are you? Get away from me! What the hell are you? Don't make me do this! Ah! 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 
Hello? Anybody? I'd fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. I'd fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. No ladder. <laughs> I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Help! Anybody up there? Hello? Anybody in there? I thought I saw a little girl in the forest. Are you up there? I'm not one of those things. I guess it's empty. Somebody! Yell if you can hear me! No ladder. <laughs> I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Is there anybody here? I can't go back out there. Maybe I'll just go for a dip. I should just check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. Strange man here, bleeding in your backyard. I wonder if anybody's home. Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? An intruder or one of them these people might need more help than I do something on there. Oh, Jesus. What's that beeping? Furniture overturned, blood everywhere. Jesus.
God. A kid lived here. This whole there neighborhood is deserted. What the hell? Cables out. Three new messages. Message one left at five forty three PM. Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. Hello? You need to be quiet. Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No, I'm not. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Did you kill it? Yes. It's okay. 
I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to get out of this neighborhood. It's not safe. We're less likely to be seen if we move at night. My parents might come home. We won't go far. We'll try to find shelter and come back here with others. That sounds good. But we can hide in my treehouse until then. It'll be a tough climb with this leg, but that's a good idea. Let's go. Stay close to me. Now let's stay quiet. We'll head out to the front yard and follow the road out of the neighborhood. Okay. It'll be okay. Stay near me, and we'll move as fast as we can. the bastard are we going to die no I'm sure we're fine stay down Georgia State Patrol dude he won't listen to that we're friendly there's a little girl here Shit, you're not one of those things. Neither of us are. Oh, damn, you've got a little girl. We're sorry about that. Well, Andre's sorry about that. It's Officer Mitchell. My name's Sean. Sean Green. This is Andre. Officer Mitchell. Did you see any of those things? One of them just got our buddy Chet. I saw a lot in the forest, but that was a while ago. Yeah, one we're looking for is still in the neighborhood. Oh shit, you hurt your leg pretty bad. Look, help us find the thing that got our buddy, and we'll take you and your daughter down to my dad's farm to safety. He should be able to fix your leg up too. I'm not a dad. I'm... Her babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Whoever you are, let's get a move on. We just were. Oh shit! It's Chad! Let's go! Get to my car! Go! Say hi to your dad for me. Yeah. I'm sorry, Sean. Chet was a good dude. One of the best. Take care of you two. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. 
Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I ran into Andre outside of Atlanta, and, uh, Chet, he got killed. No, you're kidding. Those things got him. Dad, I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry, Sean. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It's not too bad. Tough guy, huh? What did you say your name was? Doesn't matter, right? Ha, huh. well, if you're gonna be here overnight, I'm gonna need it. Unless you'd rather hit the road. It's Lee. Well, Lee, just Lee, I take it. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Jumping a fence. Running from something? Just like everybody else. What type of danger has the girl seen? Who knows? She had a few lonely days with nothing but the dead keeping her company. I still just can't imagine it. Consider yourself lucky. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um, looking after her until we, uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad, so I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. But what happened to your friend? Maybe that's not a bad idea. It smells like... Shit. <gasps> I'm sorry, I shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. I love you, baby. <laughs> Hey, get up. Mm. What an itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of a fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? The word is you were on your way to Macon. My well, family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Thanks, but... No thanks. Damn, friend. You must be some kind of something if you think you two can survive out there on your own. 
Honey, Doc, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Hey there, girls. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow. But even then, I can't take away the things we... The things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? This could all be... Providence, you know? Not what we saw. You just never realize when something is happening to you, what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. Your optimism is refreshing. New. These past couple days, at least. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how is that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you good? Anyway. It's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Um, do you have to go to the bathroom or anything like that? Lee, the young woman can take care of herself. Yeah, okay. Hey, back in a bit. Okay, Lee. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hey there, uh, Kenny. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's, but we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, Whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe, sure, that's enough. 
But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. See you. It's actually a piece of shit, but Hall's all right. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Do you, uh... Think this thing will keep him out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. It's just whatever scraps I could find around the property. Sean's still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bytes to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. You gotta do what you can to survive. Like put a gun to that kid's head and pull the trigger? Fuck that, man. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... Sometimes, it's kill or be killed. I guess. I don't think I'd sleep good after that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? I'm not quite sure where my ex-wife is. Ah. Oh. Yeah. For sure. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. I'm sorry about your friend. Thanks. I appreciate it, man. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Sean's still working on that fence. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. A man asks you your name, you give it, unless that name is no good. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? 
No wife. Uh, not anymore. I uh, think she's up in Virginia, maybe. Sorry to hear it. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Mind your own business. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. Oh, and trying to be less of an asshole would serve you just fine. Go! I'll get my gun! stitch you up. It, it almost... It almost got me, man. It, Lee tried to save me. I know, son. I... Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! You tried to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. If Kenny had helped, the son would be alive. And that's why I wish you were dead for the rest of my life. Please, just go. Get out, and never come back! Got that ride to make it if you want it. 